the main health issues in the world really vary somewhat by where you live. But if you look at the world as a whole, what people die from are non-communicable diseases. They die from cardiovascular disease, they die from cancer, they die from injuries. And in, within countries, you see that same mix. Even in countries that are poor and, uh, and low income, they suffer from the usual neglected diseases of tropical countries, but you know, malaria and diarrhea and respiratory disease, but they have the highest death rates of chronic disease in the world, the highest death rates of cancer and cardiovascular disease. So they're the huge health problems in the world. Now they're the, they're the outcome, if you will, of a whole variety of things, of the way we live, the way we eat, the things that we're exposed to. The value of the World Health Summit is that it brings people together from very different backgrounds. It brings academics like myself, people from public health, people from clinical medicine. It brings together uh, uh, folks who work in NGOs. It brings together governmental leaders and policymakers and people from industry. And we, we focus on what the issues are. And this cross-fertilization of ideas and solutions, I think, is incredibly stimulating. So we've had Nobel laureates talk to us about how a career in basic science allows them to do global diplomacy, how being good in the laboratory and being honored for that provides entree to North Korea, to, uh, to Iran, and how you can build bridges using science. We've heard from people who are responsible for the health of nations here in Germany, Singapore, uh, Botswana, and how they see the solutions to the problems of the here and now and the future.